All praise to you, gracious creator. You have gathered us in this university community to praise you by our words and our works. Bless the University of Alberta, which seeks to teach whatsoever things are true. Bless the students and professors, the non-academic staff and support staff, the administration and those who volunteer for the university on the Board of Governors, the Senate and the Alumni Council, and all who promote sound education in our community. We ask that those who leave here today, blessed with their degrees, may be given grace and strength to serve in our global village. May we grow in wisdom and grace before you and all your people. May this university always be a home of truth and wisdom, of faith and goodwill towards all. Please be seated. Welcome to the University of Alberta, and welcome all of you up in the highest balcony. It's great to see such a great turnout today. My name is Ralph Young. I have the privilege of serving as the Chancellor of the University of Alberta, and on behalf of the entire university community, I'm honored to welcome you to this convocation. To begin, I wish to acknowledge and honor all Indigenous peoples, including the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations of Treaty 6 and to acknowledge the traditional lands on which we are gathered today. I also wish to acknowledge and honor the immigrants from many nations whose contributions have added so much to our rich heritage. Our university is blessed with a diverse and inclusive culture which is built on the legacy of all those who have come before us. Today, we pledge to uphold that legacy as we continue to pursue whatsoever things are true. This is a time of great joy and thanksgiving and we are glad that so many friends and family members could join us as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. I know that our lives are busy, so I encourage you to find a balance in the lives you will lead in the future. Chief Crowfoot of the Tsitsika Nation once said, and I quote, what is life? It is a flash of a firefly in the night. It is the breath of a buffalo in the wintertime. It is a little shadow which runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset. So there is real value in slowing our pace and stopping once in a while to celebrate something truly important. Your graduation from the University of Alberta is such an occasion, and we are honored to share it with you. Joining the celebration on the stage today is our president, Dr. Indira Samarasekra, our board chair, Mr. Douglas Goss. We're also privileged to welcome Honorable Mr. James Prentice, who has accepted our invitation to receive an honorary doctorate of laws. An honorary degree recognizes inspiring role models and leaders, celebrates extraordinary achievements, or recognizes remarkable services to society. I'm equally delighted to welcome here on stage chancellors and board chairs emeriti and past honorary degree recipients, Mr. John Ferguson and Dr. Eric Newell. Board chair emeriti and past honorary degree recipients, 
the Honorable Dr. James Edwards and Mr. Dr. Brian Heidecker. Past honorary degree recipients, Drs. James Carter and Louise Hayes. Chancellor of Newman Theological College, Mr. Kevin Fian. Councillor Corps of Portugal, Mr. Orlio Fernandez. And Mr. David Zhao, MLA for Edmonton McClung. I also would like to recognize Elder Eva Beretti, who is here today to extend a special personal note of congratulations to our Aboriginal graduates as they receive their degrees. Also on the stage with us today are senior staff, deans, and professors of the Academy. We are all dressed in formal academic robes to mark the very solemn nature of this ceremony. The tradition of convocation, a gathering together of all qualified degree holders in the university community, dates back almost 700 years. Generations and generations of scholars have walked in your footsteps. But in spite of the history and the tradition within today's ceremony, our convocation is not about the past, it's about your future. Convocation is about you, our graduates, and that promise of the future which you hold in your hands. We hope you will cherish this milestone. I would now like to start by inviting greetings from our University Board of Governors, Chair Douglas Goss. Well, good morning. What a wonderful day. Uh, eminent Chancellor, Mr. Ralph Young, President, Dr. Indira Samasekra, distinguished guests, graduates, families, and friends, I'm honored to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Governors of the University. It uh, gives me great pleasure as well as an alum of the Faculty of Business to be here, as well as to share it with another distinguished alum from the Faculty of Business, the Honorable Jim Prentice, who we're honoring later this morning. You know, convocation is a rare and important time when the entire university community gathers to celebrate the achievements since our last ceremony. And today, you will be graduating from an institution that is recognized as one of Canada's leading universities and truly ranks among the top 100 in the entire world. Indeed, we have much to celebrate, but today we especially gather to celebrate you, the graduating class of 2013. We're confident that the knowledge you've gained through hard work and dedication will serve you well as you face the opportunities and challenges in our society, and we have many. By completing your programs and studies, each of you has achieved a rare level of excellence which will forever be recognized in your university degree. And now your university has the privilege of acknowledging your success. The Board of Governors salutes you, and we hope this ceremony will be remembered as a highlight in a full and satisfying career. We join with family and friends in offering our sincerest congratulations and our very best wishes in all your future endeavors. Congratulations to each and every one of you, as well as to those of you who have encouraged and supported you. And I see we have the full deck today, which is wonderful. They've made it possible for you to be here today. And it's now my privilege to introduce, to bring greetings on behalf of the government, Mr. David Chow, MLA for Edmonton McClung. Have a wonderful morning. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I thank you for inviting me to be here today to share this momentous occasion with you. Before I make official remarks, I'd like to extend my congratulation to Honorable Jim Prentice for receiving the honorary de uh, doctor degree of laws. Today, I would like to take a moment to thank the faculty members, staff, family, particularly parents, and the friends in attendance today who through support and encouragement help each of you reach this important milestone. Graduates, Today, as you receive recognition of your academic achievements, you are taking a vital step forward in your life's journey, whether that step leads you to further education or a new profession. It is a step in the right direction, and I am proud of all of you for having that courage that it took to begin this journey. Take this step knowing that you have supportive families, friends, and appears behind you. If you stumble along the way, 
they will be there to help you regain your balance and get back on your feet. We all stumble sometimes, and the course we choose to take is never as direct or clear as we think it is going to be. Don't be afraid to take your chances, and don't be afraid to fail. And if you do fail, don't be afraid to keep trying. And it takes a certain degree of courage to be bold enough to, to leap forward and to change the course of your future. And all of you here today took the first step when you enrolled at the University of Alberta. And don't let that courage fail you now. Take chances whenever you can. The bold spirit is what runs through the veins of all Albertans. And it drives our progress. It is what we need you and your peers to embrace rank kindle right now. I'm convinced that every one of you possesses the will to bring about the changes we need to ensure our province continues to thrive and prosper into the future. Alberta has a great history of dreamers achieving amazing feats, and I believe that all of you will find a way to build on that legacy. And we have always been bold, and we have always been risk takers. Today, you're joining in this heritage. Whether you were born in Edmonton or Halifax, Calgary or Istanbul, as a graduate of the University of Alberta, you are a valuable part of our province. Regardless of whether your life takes you down the street or around the world, I hope you will take this heritage, this Alberta spirit, with you on your journey. Be brave, be bold, take chances, and embrace the bright future you have ahead of you. And today, take a moment to celebrate your achievement in the company of your families and friends. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Class of 2013, congratulations to you all. I look out over this auditorium and I am filled with pride at what you have accomplished at the University of Alberta. This is a day for celebrating your success for reflecting upon all that you have learned, for acknowledging all those hours that you spent in the classroom, the library, and laboratory, for reviewing the experiences you gained out in the field, on co-op placements, in community service learning, and travel abroad. Be proud of your achievements. Be thankful to your parents and families for all the support they've given you. Your families are extremely proud of you. You have no idea the sense of relief they are experiencing. <laughs> a piece of advice, now would be a good time to ask for money. You graduate at an exciting time. Virgin Galactic, the world's first commercial space line, not airline, space line, announced that they have recruited two pilots for their commercial flight team. Space travel for ordinary people like you and me will become a reality in your lifetime. I wonder if you have been following over the last several weeks the tweets of Canada's own celebrated astronaut, Chris Hadfield, commander of Expedition 35 of the International Space Station. Chris Hadfield was only nine years old when Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. Inspired to become an astronaut, he was the first Canadian to leave a spacecraft and float freely in space. He was the first Canadian to operate the Canada. Did you know? that two University of Alberta alumni played significant roles in the making of Canada, Canada's most renowned contribution to the human space program. 
Gary Lindbergh, a U of A alumnus, was Canadam's project manager. While another alumnus, Lloyd Pinky, built the space vision system that gave Canadam two eyes as well as arms. It was in 1981 that Canada made its debut on the space shuttle Columbia. Now, in 2013, we are on the verge of commercial space travel. This is all the more amazing when you consider that it was only 110 years ago, in 1903, that Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first controlled, powered, and sustained human flight. Their first plane cost less than $1,000, and the first flight lasted 12 seconds, traveled a distance of only 120 feet at 6.8 miles per hour. I'm surprised they just didn't quit. And so their journey began. It was neither easy nor speedy. They had trouble establishing legitimacy. Most newspapers did not cover their efforts because no one believed it. They endured crashes, patent wars, and lawsuits. Finally, in 1909, they incorporated the Wright Brothers Company. In November of 1910, they transported the first known commercial cargo for a payload of $5,000. They also launched a flying school. By 1916, the Wright Brothers had trained 115 pilots, and commercial aviation was launched, the wellspring of today's space travel. Theirs is an amazing story of grit and entrepreneurship. Unfortunately, Wilbur died at the age of 45 of typhoid fever, and Orville sold the company. On Wilbur's death, his father Milton wrote this about him in his diary, and I quote, a short life, full of consequences, an unfailing intellect, imperturbable temper, great self-reliance, and great modesty. Seeing the right clearly, pursuing it steadfastly, he lived and he died, unquote. As you graduate today, I want you to reflect on the lives of Wilbur and Orwell Wright and the many who followed them to develop aviation and space travel, including Neil Armstrong, Chris Hadfield, and University of Alberta alumni Gary Lindbergh and Lloyd Pinky. They saw the right clearly. They lived lives of consequences. They have led good lives. Today, as you graduate from the University of Alberta, I challenge all of you to live a good life. And what will that entail? In our society, we tend to equate a good life with an easy life, a life of quickly achieved professional success, personal happiness, and financial security. While it is my hope that you experience all of these good things, I want to turn this notion on its head. Today, I want to suggest to you that a good life is not an easy life. It is an uneasy one. A good life makes you uncomfortable. It includes adversities. It presents you with difficulties that take all of your knowledge, ingenuity, and energy to solve. It tests your fortitude and teaches you the value of failure. Seeing adversity as a positive force is out of fashion in our society right now. As parents, and my children are only a few years older than you, we have tried to raise you well. This has included shielding you from hardship, wanting to save you from pain. But sometimes I worry that with the best of intentions, we have inadvertently taught you another lesson, a lesson that teaches you that you need our protection because you can't handle the really difficult challenges. But do not underestimate yourself. Today, you receive a degree from the University of Alberta. If we have done our job well, we have challenged you to work very hard to stretch yourself intellectually and creatively. We've asked you to get out of your comfort zone and forced you to ask the tough questions of yourself. Now, 
I want you to go out and seize the opportunity to build the new organizations, industries, and institutions our society obviously needs. Your generation is much more equitable, open, and tolerant than mine or your parents. You can be the generation that comes up with the solutions we need to solve cultural and political conflict and reimagine international relations. New technologies, we are already using them every, everywhere, from teaching to scientific research to business to design to arts and culture. Can you see the potential in new forms of media for building community, citizen action, and information sharing, and so on? Absolutely. Will it be easy? No. Will it take enormous amounts of determination and energy to do the work that needs doing? Yes, it will. But this is what it means to lead a good life. Today, you join a family of U of A alumni who stand 275,000 strong. This family will also include today's honorary degree recipient, the Honorable James Prentice. Throughout the history of our university, graduates and honorary degree recipients have been inspired by the two fundamental values on which the U of A is built. The pursuit of truth, qua cum que vera, and the call to use the knowledge for the uplifting of the whole people. We need you to live a good life. I know that you can, and you will. A good life is not shaped by what you are given, but by what it demands from you and how you use your gifts to respond to those demands. Lived well, it will bring you enormous joy and great satisfaction. J.K. Rowling, of Harry Potter fame, called on Harvard's graduating class of 2008 to live a good life in her convocation address. I conclude with her words, and I quote, tomorrow, I hope that even if you remember not a single word of mine, you remember those of Seneca, an old Roman I met when I fled down the classics corridor in search of ancient wisdom. He said, as is a tale, so is life, not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. I wish you all very good lives. Congratulations. University of Alberta honorary degree is intended to recognize and honor outstanding individuals whose significant achievements and contributions are worthy of the university's highest honor. The awarding of an honorary degree is intended to encourage a standard of excellence which is exemplary to students and to society. While fields of endeavor and accomplishments vary widely, each recipient is truly unique and each recipient, by accepting an honorary degree, brings honor to this great university. The vision of the University of Alberta is to inspire the human spirit through outstanding achievements in learning, discovery, and citizenship in a creative community, building one of the world's great universities for the public good.
eminent chancellor. On behalf of the Senate, it is my privilege to introduce the Honorable James Prentice for the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. Mr. Prentice's biography in the program begins with the words, an enduring commitment to leadership, and ends with the words, to lead with grace. Leadership is indeed his hallmark and his ongoing legacy. His career of leadership roles has contributed significantly to both the private and public sectors in Canada. Mr. Prentice practiced law in Calgary, specializing in the litigation of property rights and the resolution of, of Aboriginal land claims for more than 20 years. He then spent several years in politics, five as a member of the federal cabinet, most recently as Canada's Minister of the Environment. Prime Minister Stephen Harper referred to him as the Chief Operating Officer of the Government of Canada. Since 2011, Mr. Prentice has served as Senior Executive Vice President and Vice Chairman of CIBC. A proud 1977 graduate with distinction of our Bachelor of Commerce program, Mr. Prentice was also a hockey player, his first career choice until a knee injury brought an end to that dream. And an Alberta coal miner, a challenging summer job for seven years. These earlier careers provided a foundation for his belief in being a team player, a strong communicator, and a master builder. He exudes passion for Canada, for the environment, for people, for education, and for our future. Eminent Chancellor, with great pride and respect, I present to you a true leader from Alberta for the world, the Honorable James Prentice. Honorable Peter Eric James Prentice, in recognition of exemplary contributions to public life in Canada, I desire to confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws and to express the hope that we shall continue to be blessed by your wise counsel for many years to come. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Eminent Chancellor, um, Madam President, representative of the Board of Governors, graduates, all of the proud parents, family, friends, uh, including my own. Uh, thank you very, very much. As an alumnus and uh, someone who has been deeply involved in uh, business most of my professional life, I'm uh, proud and honored to be invited to speak to you today. And I would note that I'm joined by my spouse of 30 years, Karen, without whom I surely would not be speaking with you uh, this morning. And though it, uh, it pains me to say the number aloud, it was exactly 36 years ago, more or less today, that I sat exactly where you are this morning, waiting to receive precisely the same degree. And I doubt that very much has changed and um, that your fondest wish this morning is that the convocation speaker demonstrate both the wisdom and the ability to keep it short. <laughs> and I thought as I walked into the chamber this morning and was moved by all the bright, talented young faces, I saw that my graduation gift to you will be brevity. Now let me give you um, a little more good news. The education that you have received, the degree that you celebrate today, will serve you in your lives very well. I went on from the University of Alberta to study law at Dalhousie University, but it was my business degree that underpinned the entirety of my career. I have drawn upon it through my time as a lawyer, as a businessman, and as a politician. I have grown to appreciate the skills that it provided to me and the abilities that it helped bring out in me. And so each of you are, and you should celebrate this today with your family, very fortunate in the choice that you have made. 
And today I want to share with you a few thoughts, not about the opportunities that are going to accrue to you as graduates, which I trust are obvious to all of you and which are many, but rather on the responsibilities, on the obligations of being part of a community and both the power and the test of that service. As you know, uh, I was in politics for close to a decade. I did not leave because I was unhappy. I left because going in, I had said that I intended to serve my community for eight to 10 years, and all thing, although things were going very well, I was stubborn enough to stick to that pledge. And it is my view that public life benefits from the influx of new representatives bringing new experiences and also new perspectives. Because we all benefit from the presence of people who accrue life experience, leadership experience in the real world, especially from the private sector. And people who then bring it into the political realm along with their values and their principles. And our politics uh, in our nation benefits when we attract people who have exercised the discipline that comes from building businesses, from taking risks, from making a payroll every second Friday. And in short, the politics of our country will ultimately benefit from more people like yourselves who are here this morning. Like the men and women who will grow, you will grow to become as your careers take hold and as your success takes root in the way that your president has described this morning. And there are, of course, uh, many valuable ways to serve your community. There are many ways to exercise that responsibility that you bear. With privilege comes responsibility. And seeking office is only one of them. It's not for everyone, but it happened to be the choice that I made when I left here as you will leave this morning. Now, you may be cynical about politics. I certainly would never try to deny that there are occasions on which a measure of cynicism is warranted. But let me tell you something that they don't often write about in the newspaper. Politics is fun. It's important, it's exciting, and in my experience, it is tremendously rewarding. I truly enjoyed uh, my time working with our Prime Minister and my parliamentary and cabinet colleagues, one of whom is with me here this morning. And I was inspired by the challenge of the, of the files that I was able to work on, the oil sands, the environment, Canada's foreign investment regime, our partnership with First Nations and our energy relationships with the United States and with China. I was able to help shape and advance national issues. I met and I got to know world leaders. I held a panda bear in my lap. <laughs> and so my first piece of advice to you this morning is simple. As you go forward in your lives and in your careers, keep in mind both your obligation and the opportunities to give back. For some of you, running for office could be the vehicle through which you serve. If you know or even suspect that you have that passion, do it, try it, put yourself and your beliefs out there. And do it because our country needs and benefits from the service of dedicated people, people with talent, with achievement and industry, all of which you have demonstrated to get here today. Do it because it's tiring. Do it because it's thrilling, it's stressful, and it's energizing. And you'll leave with enough stories and anecdotes to fill a lifetime of dinner parties. And do it because even today in the circumstances in which we are in, public life is and must remain a noble calling. And Canada remains a country that is worthy of your passions, of your talents, and of your leadership. There is a second piece of advice I offer this morning. I offer it specifically to those who will ultimately choose to enter public life, but it applies broadly to any career which any of our graduates this morning take on. And it applies broadly to any career in which your patience, your ability, and your character will be tested. It is something which I believe in strongly. 
You each have your reputation and your integrity. That's what you take when you leave this morning into the working lives along with the degree that you will receive. And when you reach the end of the road, you will depart with only one thing, your reputation and your integrity. And the choices that each of you make along the way will determine the condition that they are both in. Now, my, uh, my father uh, did not want me to go into politics. Uh, he was a humble, hardworking man. Frankly, he would have walked across the street rather than choose to encounter a politician. He died, actually, after a long struggle with Lou Gehrig's disease, just as my career in politics was beginning. But my mother told me that in his final months, he would uh, cry as he saw me on television, not out of sorrow. Um, but out of pride that he actually did not expect to feel. He still didn't like politicians, but he liked his politician, his son, and he respected and was proud of the choice that I had made. And before he died, I promised him that I would get into and out of politics with his name intact. Which brings me to the most important advice that I can offer this morning. During the journey ahead, you will be confronted by all manners of ethical dilemmas. People telling you to do things you disagree with, to look the other way, or to remain silent or compliant. And the pressure intensifies as you get towards the top in politics, of course, but in business also, and in many fields. And each and every time, each and every time it is you and you alone who gets to decide whether you will do the right thing or whether you will do the wrong thing. Whether you will do what is right or whether you will do what is popular. Whether you will do what you are told or whether you will do what you know that you must do. And you alone, and you alone will reap the rewards or suffer the damage. No one in life sets out with the goal of taking the wrong fork in the road. But over time, many do. It was Emerson who wrote, no man at last believes that he can be lost. But you can be. It can be difficult to keep one's bearings. It can be easy to slowly lose your way, one choice at a time. And so no matter where your career takes you, I would urge you at all times to defend who you are. Defend the character that got you here this morning. Weigh the counsel of your colleagues. Seek out advice, seek out other perspectives. But never, ever stop listening to your own native sense of what is right and what is wrong. Because no fleeting benefit is worth any toll exacted on your reputation and your integrity. I'm sometimes asked to uh, recount my favorite moment from my time in public life. I, to be sure, have many. But in the context of today's ceremony and with your futures largely unwritten and your potential completely unlimited, I find myself thinking back to my time as Canada's Minister of the Environment and Minister Responsible for, for Parks. A few summers ago, um, before I left public life, I was fortunate enough to travel to the north, a thousand kilometers above the Arctic Circle. And I was accompanied by a small team of Parks Canada underwater archaeologists. All of them were about your ages. They were recent university graduates, and we set out to find uh, the HMS investigator. This was a ship of the British Admiralty, it was made strong with timber for Arctic exploration, and it was dispatched into the Arctic in 1848 as part of the search for the lost expedition of Sir John Franklin. And it was ultimately the vessel that inadvertently discovered the Northwest Passage and secured its place in Canadian history. And so our journey took us to the Bay of God's Mercy on the shores of Banks Island. Look it up. And it was a typically Canadian expedition. It was low-key, it was modest, 
It was underfunded. <laughs> Essentially, a government minister and a bunch of kids with university degrees camped out along the edge of the Arctic Ocean, our Arctic Ocean, sleeping in a village of orange mountain equipment co-op tents, sustained by craft dinner and Arctic char. <laughs> and no one had seen the investigator for 150 years. And then, under the long uh, Arctic days, our young archaeologists discovered it on the floor of the Bay of God's Mercy, resting peacefully. And a short time later, uh, clad in a dry suit, using a snorkel and a mask, floating in and out of the ice pack with the help of those university graduates, I was able to look down through 30 feet of pristine, absolutely sparkling clear Arctic water and see the investigator, something which no Canadian had seen for over 150 years. Proudly intact, upright on the floor of Mercy Bay. And as a Canadian who loves our country's history and is passionate about the Arctic, I cannot even begin to describe to you today what it was like to look down and see a lost chapter of our country's history. It had last been seen by human eyes when Canada was not even a nation, merely a notion. And the British sailors that it carried had shown the courage to sail at that time to the very end of the earth, to the absolute margins of their technological abilities. And I thought then, and I think now, that Captain McClure and the men of the investigator would look in wonder at Canada today. And they would see a confident nation, blessed with resources, with capital, with infrastructure, with graduates like all of you sitting here this morning, confidently astride an immense land that had actually held such terror for them 150 years ago. And so graduates, family and friends, your country, Canada, is indeed the greatest country. And those who built it have every right to be proud and to be satisfied and those, like all of you, who are entrusted now with its future, have every need to be confident, to be hopeful, and to be courageous. And so be bold, serve your community, serve your country, make your nation proud, make your families proud. I know that you can, and I hope that you will. Thank you, and congratulations. Jim, thank you so much for those very, very profound remarks. Your commitment and service to our country is inspiring to all of us, and you have done what uh, our president has called all of our graduates to do, is to lead a good life. We know, as you indicated, that reputation and integrity are so fundamental to, for all of us, and we're proud that you retain your integrity and reputation. We know your family's proud, and we know your father's proud, and we're all proud. To commemorate this honorary degree, we would now like to have the Honorable Dr. James Prentice sign our university honor roll. Thank you, Dr. Prentice. You are now officially one of our University of Alberta alumni, second time around. And now, graduates, it's your turn. As the name of each graduate is called across the stage, 
I will formally admit you to your degrees and we will have an opportunity to congratulate you. When we shake hands, that will be the moment that your degree is conferred and you become a graduate. On your journey across the stage, you will also walk past the University of Alberta Mace. Centuries ago, the Mace was a symbol of authority over life and death. Today, this Mace represents the life-changing power of knowledge and the importance of our university and our graduates to our community. Enjoy your day and I look forward to meeting you on stage. Candidates for degrees will please rise and follow on page five of the convocation program. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you these scholars and ask that they be pledged and admitted to the degrees to which they are entitled. Do you promise faithfully to observe and loyally to maintain the statutes, customs, privileges, and liberties of this, your university? Do you solemnly promise to conduct yourself in all things loyally and faithfully to the honor of your university, the encouragement of learning, and the good of your country? These. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province and with the consent of this university, I admit you to the degrees to which you are entitled and invest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining to such degrees. I charge you to use them for the uplifting of the whole people, to inspire the human spirit, and for all who believe to serve your God, and to pursue more steadfastly whatsoever things are true. Please be seated. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Joseph Doucette, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Business. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Krista Janice Fiolo. Christina Jane Hong. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Business Administration, Matthew Adam Bakowich. <laughs> Yu Bai. <laughs> Cade John Berry. Harry Shankar Bagvandas. <laughs> Stephen Timothy Boyd. <laughs> Rebecca Tabitha Carroll. <laughs> Abhishek Chakraborty. <laughs> Shunmin Chen. Felix Wade Tao Cheng. <laughs> Maria Jimena Cordova de la Rosa. <laughs> Peter Michael Cushman. <laughs> Brian Tyler Davis. <laughs> Bob
Bobby Joe Christina Daw. Ritesh Ramdas Thotkar. Andrew Jason Dillon. Anil Anthony Joseph de Lima. Noha Eldashan. Mohammad Wahid Faruqi. Cameron Alexander Geldart. Caitlin Rose Goyo. Brett David Thomas Grierson. Ishmael Guler. Wissam Basam Hadadin. Justina Hanna. Carmen Janelle Hovdi. Lisa Marilyn Hurenyu. Batya Evry Friedman. Manakshi Joshi. Thomas Kupakal John. Allison Joan Keating. Arshdeep Kara. Bartek Richard Kentz. Christopher Ernest Lavoy. Abdul Lawal. Han Lai Li. Ina Li. Cheng Yi Li. Amanda Chai Wei Ling. Nick Liu. Danaseka Logaswami. Joshua Liu. Mark Anthony Makalor. Ischel Marcela Martinez Posados. Donna Marie Morrow. Katrina Jane McIntosh. Peter John Melancelli. Brian Roderick Menges. Thomas Damien Medlin. Alireza Monferred. Mohit Nayar. Patricia Neal. Alex Samuel Nielsen. Talwinder Singh Nirwan. Jenna Mae Nutting. Stephen Peter Obermeyer. 
Sandra Lynn Peterson. Kimberly Lian Pung. Bryce Jason Pinto. Justin Thomas Pullicat. Dinayash Kumar Raju. Amir Reshef. Thomas Brett Maitland Richardson. Michael Anthony Ryu. Sanu Sashindranath. Sohar Salimi. Svetlana Sapelinikova. Aradna Sharma. Gordon William Shepherd. Sandeep Shretta. Gayatri Sirikant. Daniel Jonathan Stephen. Arun Sukumar. Michael Robert Ralph Swanson. Shi Tao. Charles Edward Tower. Win Ti Huang Tran. Bogdan Andre Tabirka. Arden Che. Janice Christina Wan. Stephen Brody Weinbeer. Nge God Love Sue. Michelle Leslie Westra. Roland Wu. Yujing Yang. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Commerce with Honors, recipient of a Governor General's Silver Medal, the Dr. Hugh Harris Medal in Business, the Chartered Accountant's Graduating Scholarship in Accounting, Elisabetta Olivia Tymon with First Class Honors. Elisabetta Diamond is one of three recipients of the Governor General Silver Medal. The Governor General Silver Medals are the University of Alberta's most prestigious undergraduate academic awards and are donated by the Governor General of Canada, His Excellency the Right Honorable David Johnston and his wife, Her Excellency Sharon Johnston. First presented in 1873 by the Earl of Dufferin, the medals recognize and encourage academic excellence across Canada. Elisabetta Tymon is also this year's recipient of the Dr. Hugh Harris Medal in Business. This award is presented annually to the graduating student who has obtained the highest academic standing in the final two years of the Bachelor of Commerce program. 
It is donated in recognition of academic excellence by the School of Business in memory of Dr. Hugh Harris, a former dean of the School of Business. Lisbeta scholarship achievements have taken her st studies to France and Poland for summer programs in which she received high grade standings. Lisbeta achieved a 4.0 GPA in all four years at the U of A. Receiving numerous awards and scholarships along the way. Aside from her impressive academics, Lisbeta has shown dedication to the school and her field of study as the vice president of U of A's accounting club. Lisbeta plans to pursue a chartered accountant designation and possible graduate studies in accounting, business, or law. Congratulations, Lisbeta. And all the very best to you. Thank you very much. Do stay in touch. Recipient of the Richard Haskane FCA Graduating Scholarship and the Werner Craig McElroy Scholarship in Accounting, Hawk Pierce Bushko. Hertian Shen with first class honors. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Nicholas Andrew Adcock. <laughs> Coretta Adrienz. Abdul Aziz Ahmed. Take you on. Jillian Christine Alexander. Farjana Aladina. Farjana Aladina with distinction. Yuk Young An. Stephen Blaine Archibald with distinction. Andy James Arndt with distinction. Natalie Batres. Ryan Thomas Bensick. Nigel Thomas Bergstra with distinction. Julian Danielle Blaney. Nicole Marie Bopp with distinction. Stephanie Marie Boris with distinction. Matthew Peter Bradley with distinction. Higimatu Braima. Donald Stephen Brown. Emily Budd. Aaron Brian Bernstad. Ian Mark Cabrera. <laughs> Reese Alexander Campbell. <laughs> Rebecca Carcidi. <laughs> Matthew Jordan Cardoza. <laughs> Nolan Anthony Carter. Vikas Chara with distinction. 
Ershad Chagani with distinction. Tony Lim Chang. Annie Onli Chan. Chi Sing Charles Chan with distinction. Jin Kin Chan. Kareen Carmen Chan. Michael Chan. Sharon Lillian Chan with distinction. Kaleng Chang. Andrew Chen. Steve Chen. Yi Bin Chen. Carol Siuman Cheng. Shai Cheng. Olivia Chung. Murray Kai Shun Cheng, with distinction. Thomas Edward Chibri. Joshua Nathan Chodak. Odelia Choi, with distinction. Ishmael Chui. Michael Andrew Christian. Katharina Eileen Christensen. Claudine Sui Chua. Amanda Leanne Chidoba. Angela Jia Chung with distinction. Leo, Leo, Chung. Leo Chung. Jeffrey Donald Clark. Elizabeth Margaret Cox. Patricia Cook. Sorry, Patrick Cook, I apologize. <laughs> well, one accidental gender swap down. Matthew Jeffrey Cohen. Megan Janine Crothers. Shio Yi Dai with distinction. Karen Nicole Davies with distinction. Samuel Thomas Dean. Kirsten Catherine Deckend with distinction. Derek Anthony De Groot. Carver Christopher Delu. Lauren Gloria D'Entremont with distinction. Mandy Amber Darren with distinction. Jamie Nadine DeMel. Charles Robert Dobronowski. <laughs> Berkeley Francis Dahl. Alicia Lucia, Alisa, sorry, Lucia Emilia Dubé. Alisa Lucia Emilia Dubé. <laughs> Bruce Scott Duncan. 
Dexter John Dupas with distinction. Derling. Joel Spencer Derling with distinction. Ends. Darlene Enns. Lonnie Ernest Erasmus. William Lawrence Evans with distinction. Yeah. Hanif Nawaz Fazal. Aaron David Fife. Luke Timothy Friesen. David Friedenberg. Nana Gao. Michael George with distinction. Dalvir Singh Gill. Robert Ichiro Goodyear. Sijia Go. Graham Brian Graff with distinction. Haley Britt Grayston. Marin Janine Green. Wenxian Guan. Zi Yi Guan. Hirsch Gupta with distinction. Recipient of the Financial Executives Institute Silver Medal in Finance, Sumit Kumar Gupta with distinction. Christine Yuan Gujo with distinction. Spencer Daniel Hashi. Ilan Haderi. Michael Alexander Hale. Matthew Paul Hansen. Mitchell Tanner Harris. Taha Hassan with distinction. Jonathan Emmanuel Hayford. Sean Michael Haney. Luke Dalton Helland. Paige Ann Helwig. Eric William Hermans. Catherine May Heshi with distinction. Hessen. Cassandra Lee Hessen with distinction. Huang. Kevin Matthew Huang. <laughs> Matthew Henderson Hodgson with distinction. Holroyd. Meredith Holroyd. Daniel Evan Hool with distinction. Alex Wayne Ming Hu. Jing Hu. Jessica Hua. Shangfei Huang. Xiao Xiao Huang. Samuel James Hunt with distinction. 
Bradley Holt. Benson Lien Huynh. David Hoon. Warren Waylon Ip. Samuel Jonathan Ito with distinction. Melinda Monica Ivankovic. Justina Jennifer Jelasinski. Justina Jennifer Jelasinski. Sang Ho Jang. Spencer Wayne Yonke with distinction. Thomas Gayan Jeatunga with distinction. Jessam. Travis Jessam with distinction. Courtney John with distinction. Vanessa Shiping Jong. Amin Ahmad Kadura. Erin Lynn Kalansky. Bryce Michael Kambites. Kevin Cow. Matthew Dallin Kastendik. Andrew Kavanaugh with distinction. Recipient of the Financial Executives International Medal in Accounting, Brittany Elise Keelan with distinction. Mitchell Dean Kennedy. Mitchell Ryan Kirkland with distinction. Ramanjit Kaur Kinda. Kyung Hyul Kim. Kyung Do Kim. Mo Kwan Kim. Katie Lynn Marie Kimball. Jane Kluke. Klimke. Anna Klimke. Taryn Sherry Klimek. Jennifer Marie Kogan. Stephen Joseph Komarniki. Natalia Kovalenko with distinction. <laughs> Keith Weston Kowalski. <laughs> Justin Nicholas Kuchmak with distinction. <laughs> Anna Kolinsky with distinction. <laughs> Neha Kumari. Sheridan Tanya Kuta with distinction. Thomas Kwan. Andrew Stephen Lai with distinction. Christina Ricky Laley. Martin Chunok Lam with distinction. Wilson Lam Yi. Reina Karen Maria Larson. 
Braden William Lauer with distinction. Justin Wesley Luckapoy. Jason Derek Lee. Linda Jin Young Lee. Michelle Young Chi Lee. Recipient of the Avison Young Commercial Real Estate Graduating Scholarship in Marketing. Rebecca Sarah Lee with distinction. Theo Lee. My name is Evadne. Jeffrey Evadne Leach with distinction. Christopher Page Leeworthy. Leach also. Ian James Robert Leach. Curtis Peter Letwin with distinction. Leon. Janice Garwan Leong with distinction. <laughs> Jessica Lee Leong. <laughs> Kyle Harrison Lewis. <laughs> Stephanie Maria Lewis. Anna Leva. <laughs> Ling Li. <laughs> Crystal Ashley Liu. <laughs> Devin James Light. <laughs> Linda Lim. Jiawei Lin. Chelsea Elizabeth Littlechilds. Jiao Liu. Shi Wan Liu. Xin Xin Liu. Jishin Liu. Celia Lo. Louise Ada Lo. Scott Kenneth Loader. Shin Yu Liu. Andrea Dawn Lund with distinction. Yan Luo. Yan Luo with distinction. Rebecca Lee Luscombe. Adelaide Jenny Lee with distinction. Helen Ma. Kevin Ma. <laughs> Tang Fei Ma. Shirley Xiaoyu Ma. Shirley Ma. <laughs> Melanie Elizabeth McFarlane. <laughs> Ryan Garrett McKenzie with distinction. Courtney J. Majo with distinction. <laughs> Jeffrey Dan Ma with distinction. Manik Ann Maye. Jade Elizabeth Makarenko with distinction. Amy Jacqueline Melanchin. Abhiraj Malia. Manoli. 
recipient, recipient of the Dale Babak Canadian Graduating Scholarship in Business, Alexander Manoli, with distinction. Ye yeah, Mao. Matea Merrick. Mitchell Marino. Nathan Anthony Mary Payne. John Daniel Evan Martin. Alexander Joseph Mezivike. Ross Ramsey McDonald. Caitlin Marie McGillis. Mary Elena McPhail with distinction. Donald Jeffrey Mears. Lydia Grace Middleton. Eilina Kaur Minhas. Alex James Mirecki with distinction. Anna Moore with distinction. Kimberly Moore. Sean Ryan Moore. Jenny Lynn Morrow with distinction. Derek Matthew Mosenko. Mark Robert Mowbray. Ashton Myers. David Christopher Mishkevich. Teshin Naidu. Ralph Justin Nanad. Sieda Gazala Nakvi. Megan Melissa Marie Nash. Chanel Elizabeth Nestorchuk. Mike Danger Newton with distinction. <laughs> Kapo Ng. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Wynn with distinction. <laughs> Jennifer Fanson Wynn. Brett Randall Novlin. Nicole Kelsey Novlin. Jessica Francesca Nichicalo. Liam O'Donovan with distinction. Abisola Ojikutu with distinction. James Vincent O'Neill. Chad Osman. Shauna Lynn Paquette with distinction. Silky Lynn Patterson. Jeffrey Michael Pierce with distinction. Alexander Thomas Pentney. Brittany Lynn Perry with distinction.
Dmitry Permyakov. David Fan. James Patrick Phelan. Cheng Fang. Erin Therese Pillar. Daniel Arthur Pilon with distinction. Megan Amanda Plum with distinction. Natalie Nicole Pawn with distinction. Benjamin Poon with distinction. Scott Thomas Poon. Kristen Ashley Potter with distinction. Suyena Podell. Tanner Blair Prince. Marie Melody Prusky. Narasal Ramji with distinction. Robin Redra Redman. Benjamin Reish with distinction. Recipient of the Dale Babiak International Graduating Scholarship in Business, Christina Beiwei Ben with distinction. Kong Chong Ren. John Edward Ritson with distinction. Stefano Andre Rodriguez. Andrew Jeffrey Rogan. Simon Lester Rowe. Dominika Riklikova. Alicia Erin Marie Saddleback. Michael Daniel Sadler. Kiranjit Sagu. Asya Abdurrahman Saif. Ty Anthony Sander. Noel Sanderson. Navpreet Kaur Sandhu with distinction. Nicholas George Satora. Curtis James Sonye. Darren Brett Sherba. Allison Joy Schmidt with distinction. Cameron Hans Schmidt. Landon Douglas Schmidt. Matthew Jason Semler. Nolan Douglas Shaw with distinction. Junxiao Shi. Allison Colleen Shillington. Ji Woon Shin. Natalia Sidorov. Michael Floyd Sims with distinction. 
Chinda Singh. <laughs> Melissa Marie Sinclair. <laughs> Sumanjit Kaur Singh. <laughs> Wing Hong Siu. Yu Jong Son, Zachary Richard Saprovich with distinction, Gregory Adam Stewart with distinction, Derek Robert Stilo, Megan Louisa Stock. Chen Soon with distinction. Patient Soon. Zhao Xin Soon. Zhou Wen Soon. Proud Suan Chuakorn. Vanessa Winnie Tan. <laughs> Kong Tang. <laughs> Zachary Leonard Taschuk. <laughs> Drew Landon Robert Tetz. Tang. <laughs> Sherry Tang. John Patrick Thompson. Braden Lyndon Thompson. Stephen William Thrall with distinction. Nicole Tomchuk. Lindsay Erin Toms. Megan Lee Tower. Victor Track. Lauren Roxanne Trentum. Dibya Jyoti Tripathi with distinction. Marie Maitsin Sang. Jackie Chun Kwok Tsui. Shalane Jana Tulak. Brent Johan Vandenbrink with distinction. Ricky Satinder Singh Verk with distinction. Melissa Wei with distinction. <laughs> David Daniel Wan with distinction. <laughs> Terry Hoyen Wan. <laughs> C. Wang. <laughs> Jia Wang with distinction. Jing Wang. Rong Chiao Wang. Sheng Wang. Sheng Wang. Shao Chi Wang with distinction. Kelsey Ann Watt. Stephen Dean Weber. Xi Yuan Wei. Amy Elizabeth Welleschuk with distinction. Joshua Jake Wiersma with distinction. 
Clayton Lee Wilburn. <laughs> Philip Jules Will with distinction. Sarah Ann Walbeck. <laughs> Philip Xingyun Wong. <laughs> Tristan Mark Woodside with distinction. <laughs> Michael Taylor Wright with distinction. <laughs> Anna Wu with distinction. Jialin Wu. Jing Wu. Yang Xie. Li Shu. Xia Yu Shu with distinction. Chu Shi Yan. Bo Yan Yang. Jessalyn Ming Yao Yong with distinction. Pan Pan Yin. Edison King Soon Yu. Luke Lee Young with distinction. Xia Zhou Yu. Ying Yuan. Quan Man Young. Candace Nicole Yurkyu. Carolyn Michelle Zenko. Ning Ning Zhang with distinction. Wen Yi Zhang with distinction. Xiao Xiao Mabel Zhang. Shindi Zhang. John Zhang. Carolina Zhang. Carolina Zhang. Linjia Zhang with distinction. Zijun Zhu with distinction. Bryce Zimmerman. Marisa Nyatwa Zyapapa. Changbo Zhu. Tsing Zhu. Eminence au grade de bilingual bachelor, uh, baccalauréat bilingue en administration des affaires eminent chancellor for the degree of bilingual bachelor of commerce, Cassandra Anne Filatre. <laughs> Courtney Christine Huchelak. <laughs> Daniel Krishan Joshi Arnal. <laughs> Kristen Michelle Kastrup. Adrian Norina Latsara. Babakar Ebel Lee. Sarah Mwamakazi Mwamwera. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you the remaining scholars whose names appear in the convocation program, but who are not in attendance.
Wow, what a great morning. I think you'll agree with me that having 735 students graduate today is impressive. Honorable Jim Prentice, Jim, thank you for a very inspiring speech. We're just thrilled to have you here. Today is a truly proud moment for the University of Alberta. In total, we have graduated 6,756 students this spring convocation. Now, according to my rough calculations, that represents approximately 270,000 courses completed and 811,000 classroom hours. If each of you actually did the average three hours of studying outside of class for each hour in class, <laughs> of course you did, right? More than that. We have done 3.2 million hours in total were devoted to earning the degrees completed this year. Amazing. All those hours represent a lot of time. Time that you might have devoted to your family and friends, to cleaning the house, to doing the laundry, walking the dog, paying the rent time when your parents and families had to pick up the slack while you were otherwise engaged. So graduates, it's your turn to get up, turn around, and give a huge round of applause to all the people who supported you throughout, to your parents, spouses, partners, children, and siblings. Okay, it's now time to turn our attention to the final part of today's ceremony. Graduates, today you irrevocably become part of the U of A family. I know you will do us proud and will join with the tens of thousands of alumni who have gone before you to do your part in uplifting the whole people. Before we formally induct all of you into the U of A Alumni Association, we want to remind you of the journey you've been on to get to this ceremony with the presentation of a special video montage for which the words also appear in the back of your program. The song that accompanies the video, Je Te Retrouve, or I Remember You, was commissioned by Campus St. Jean in celebration of the university's centenary in 2008 and is performed by Chorale St. Jean under the direction of Laurier Fagnon. It was composed by Professor Emeritus Dr. Franz Lavasier Wime and arranged by U of A alumnus Dr. Alan Bevan. Captures the hopefulness and potential of days spent at the university. I hope the images that will accompany the song show some of your own particular story and bring back fond memories of your time spent here. Enjoy.
Emlyn Chancellor, my name is Chris Gray, and it is my honor to bring greetings from the Alumni Association. Among your f alumni family are a Prime Minister, a Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and a Nobel Laureate, as well as many other outstanding builders, business leaders, artists, educators, humanitarians around the world, alumni all dedicated to uplifting the whole of people. Today you become alumni of the University of Alberta. It is my honour to hereby welcome you and officially induct you into the University of Alberta Alumni Association. Bonvenue à notre famille mondiale. Graduates, would you please stand? Can't see. As a new ambassador for the University of, Al Al uh, University of Alberta, I call upon you to use the knowledge you have gained here for the betterment of yourselves and others. As an alumnus of the University of Alberta, be proud of your degree and your fellow alumni. Nurture lifelong friendships cultivated on this campus. Celebrate our university's many successes and recommend it to others. Take part in your alumni association's many events and activities. You are officially a lifetime member of a powerful wide, worldwide network of friends and colleagues. On behalf of all alumni, I am very pleased to welcome you to the University of Alberta Alumni Association. Félicitations et bonne chance. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. Please be seated. Just a few final words to conclude our convocation ceremony today. All of us on the stage understand how hard you've worked to get to this uh, stage today. Author Victor Hugo is quoted as saying that perseverance is the secret of all successes. Your abilities and perseverance have brought you a long way and we wish you all of success going forward. Honorable Dr. James Prentice, thank you once again for sharing your experience and wisdom with our university family by accepting this honorary degree. You've brought great honor in our university. Thank you once again. Graduates, the world is open for you to be leaders as well. Your hopes and dreams will give your life purpose and meaning, and they will also become a foundation for our future as a community. We want to thank you for coming, thank you for taking the responsibilities of being a university graduate, and thank you for joining our alumni family. Now please join me in thanking the musical gifts of our superb vocalist, Ms. Andrea Vogel, and the outstanding convocation band under the direction of Dr. Thomas Dust. In most families, we celebrate special occasions by sharing food together. So I invite everyone to join us for some light refreshments in the main floor and the first balcony lobbies. In closing, I would like to offer a simple prayer written by Dag Hammarskjöld, a former Secretary General of the United Nations. He said, night is drawing nigh. For all that has been, thanks. For all that shall be, yes. Say yes and your dreams will take you far. But may you always remain close to your alma mater. University of Alberta. Enjoy the rest of your day and congratulations.
Kelv. 